Lord, why have you forsaken me? Forsaken you? He never spoke to you from the first. Still? Oh. Uh, uh, Wait. Uh, who? Who? Such a terrible shame. Helio. Still, it saves me the trouble of murdering him before returning home. Laying the groundwork for Holograd's invasion has been no small task. Holograd. Honestly, between the snow, the ice, and the terrain, this really is the most inconvenient place to send an army. But thanks to the fire crystal, things have become much easier in that regard. And oh, now no. that the most troublesome characters have been painted as fairies and eliminated, now I need simply wait and... Holograders, we're under attack! Exquisite timing as ever. Our generals must be commended. I shall be taking this. Oh no! Dang it! We still have some use for it, after all. Hey, come back! Huh? That came from town! Huh? He's gone to join the invaders. We oh, have to no. hurry! No! Oh. You're all right! Thank the Lord! Martha! Oh man, not now! Oh, don't worry! She's on our side! She's been helping fight back the Hologradas! That's good! Wait, she has? Of course she has! She was used as a tool! God damn it, Seth! My homeland is being invaded! Of course I'm fighting back! But she... she's done a lot of things she'll have time to feel bad about later! But she loves her country. I don't doubt that for a second. Fine. But you should be grateful that you have Martha to vouch for you. I trust you about as far as I can throw you. Your loss? How did they get in? The gate was open from the inside. We repelled their first assault, but we have suffered heavy losses. Damn you, Helio! Oh. Helio! He's been working for Holograd all along. Yeah. It must have been him who opened the gate. What? We chased him out here. Y you didn't see him? We did not. Perhaps he found another way of joining his compatriots. <sighs> Damn it! We let him get away. The second wave is on the march. Gather those who are still able to fight. Uh -oh. We cannot allow ourselves to be overrun. Oh, we will be a full stand with war you against now. the Hologradas. You have my thanks. I, too, will lend my aid. Yay, Quellum! As will I. But you're still hurt. <sighs> Fine. I guess I can't stop you coming. Just be careful, okay? Oh, yes, yes. Now, come on! Martha is now accompanying the party. Alright. I, I kind of skipped the party chat. Hopefully, this is the one. Adam's ambitions. So, Helio was working for Holograd all along, eh? Holograd. That's where that Adam guy was from, right? Yeah. Yes, he is their emperor. And they were one of the countries that attacked Musa. Yes, their aim seems to be increase their power by expanding aggressively into all the nations that surround them. Which I would assume is what brings them to Rheimdall. Can they really hold out against a Hologradar army? Maybe not, but we have to do what we can to help. And besides, we owe Adam a black eye. He's not getting the better of us twice. No way. Alright, let's go break some Hologradar heads. And then recover the fire crystal. The next day. Alright, I am back. It has been a day later. Okay, check the new stuff. Alright, let's head outside. Uh, where are we supposed to go? Uh, go after Helio. Right. Because Helio has the fire crystal. We do not want... That fire crystal will be at the hands of... Oh my god. People of Rheimdall, surrender while you still can. When the invasion begins in earnest, we will not be able to guarantee your safety. Lay down your weapons. Tell your commanders this. We'll fight to the last soldier. We're not gonna let Rheimdall fall into filthy holograda hands. I sense a thing going on here. It's like German kingdom versus a uh, Russian kingdom. 
Why do I sense there's a Russian versus German vibe? Throw all you have at us! We'll never surrender! Fools! The next wave is on the way already! There will be no saving yourselves once they get here! Oh yeah? Do you have Heroes of Light? Don't say we didn't try to help your sorry hides! You heard them. There's no turning back now! But we've got one thing they'll never have. Lord of Dragons, watch over us! Ah! Oh! The soldiers who came to Pali will be back with the main force by now. The next attack will come soon, Father Ridion. Oh, Ridion is in charge now? It's really good then. Very good. Father Ridion, you summon me? Wait. You're. They are friends of mine. Any objections? I. None, Father. Okay. Good. Good. <laughs> now make your report. Yes, Father. Uh, judging by their movements, they mean to surround the town. Really? But, thankfully, the terrain will mean that they have to make their way toward us in a very narrow formation. Yeah, I was about to say that. You guys are surrounded by mountains. There's no way to traverse through these mountains, including when it's snowing. So, the only path they have to go through is basically through the entrance of the whole kingdom. All right. Then we'll split into small units and attack in waves. Mm -hmm. Reporting in! The Holograders are approaching fast! It's because of that. Alright, we'd better move out. One last thing. If you see Helio, he's ours. Very well. Good luck, everyone. Oh man, a full-out war. Here we go. No time like the present. Let's go. Heroes of Light, roll out. God, that is cringy. Sorry, I'm a hungry dragon. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is this is like a boss rush, or this will be a you know fight rush, park. whatever. You guys are scrubs. <laughs> Pathetic. What? How much health do you guys even have? How much health do you guys have? Oh wow. Okay then. That's actually pr that is that is actually a lot for weaklings like you. <laughs> much 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 later. Thank you. like a doctor water. Oh, that didn't go too badly. Yeah. And now the front line's in disarray. The rear guard won't be able to get through. Princess Claudia. Oh, the, the What is it? There's a huge hologram of force approaching the rear of the city. I thought so. What? Looks like we played right into their hands. This whole thing was just a distraction. You think we can make it back to town before they get there? I know a we shortcut. We have to. It'll take about half the time it took us to get here. Oh. But it's far from safe. That's fine. This is no time to be worrying about safe. Oh, all out war. Over here. Oh boy. We gave them their chance to surrender. Show no mercy. Oh, Gladys. Gladys. Nice. You all right? Yeah. Thanks to you. Wait. You. Uh. Where is Helio? Tell me. Oh. I... <sighs> Tell me. This is for oh. my sister. Oh no. Oh my God. Are you kidding me, dude? Are you shitting me? <sighs> what are you doing? You killed her. She was no fairy. Now she's dead. And it's all your fault! Uh, I remember... You... I bought this... Upon myself! Oh no... Don't go just yet, dear heart. You were asking after me, were you not? Uh, hell yeah! Such delicious irony. Oh, God. The tireless seeker of vengeance laid low herself by the sword of retribution. Oh, since you are doomed and your homeland stands on the brink of ruin, perhaps it is time I shared something with you, your beloved parents. Oh, fuck off, Helio. It was I who killed them. 
What? Fuck off, Helio. If they had only been wise enough to keep their mouths shut when they first began to suspect my motives, they would have lived a little longer. But then, I suppose I would still have had them tried as fairies in the end. Oh my god. Damn you! Ugh! You will have to try a good deal harder than that. Oh! Mama. Oh! There we go! What? Over here! More hologradas! Gah! Wretched fools! Yes! Oh my god, Helio didn't see it! <laughs> I screamed at Gladys so much times, but ever since she st started signing with us, I've never had hard feelings with Is her. Is everybody okay? You have returned. Master be praised. The townspeople have been evacuated to the Hall of High Holies, and our forces have done us proud in the defense of the city. Sadly, we are undeniably outmatched. Morale remains admirably high. But good spirits are no substitute for experience. Uh, Without oof. reinforcements, I fear the worst. Understood. Wait a minute! We'll head to the front line right away. This is not your fight. We cannot possibly ask so much of you. There is still time to make your escape. The Lord of Dragons! Oh! Oh, Gwydion! No! Fall oh back! My. Fall back! We're saved! The Lord of Dragons is with us! Hear me, would-be invaders of this, my land! As long as we dragons remain to defend her, Rheimdall shall not fall, though her enemies bring iron and bloodshed to rain down upon her. Fear me, and be gone! Master Quidian. Gladys. <gasps> Gladys. What have I done? A surgeon, quickly. There's no need. I'm beyond saving. Here. Ah. The fire crystal. You got it back for us. That's what you were oh. looking for? Good. Gladys. Oh. I'm sorry. I couldn't stop Helio from escaping. You have nothing to apologize for, child. Father Ridion. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, Gladys. Gladys of Rheimdall. You have made the ultimate sacrifice. And for that, your people give you thanks. I'm really glad that, she, at the very least, she has done something at least right. She's been used for so long as a tool for evil. And this moment is just so... She has done at least one good thing. <laughs> The Lord Commander made it sound so simple. Kill Dominic and your work is done. He made no mention of my having to contend with dragons. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, here's your comeuppance, bitch. It's coming this way. <laughs> your comeuppance, bitch. The legendary dragon makes an appearance at last. Oh no. Good. What fun would this battle have been without him? But Lord Commander, it's too dangerous. Oh no. Move or die. Your choice. Oh my god, Gwydion. No, lizard. Let's see what oh. you're made of. Oh fuck off. Don't call him lizard. Hmm. Jesus. What the hell? Yeah. Oh. Ho -ho. Oh, wow.
Oh! Feeble creature! You stand firm even in the face of my flames! Whoa! <laughs> Dang! Oh! Oh my god! Just from that? <laughs> I suppose I would have been a fool to do battle with a creature so ancient and expect to escape unscathed. Oh, you're getting cocky again! <laughs> that was impressive indeed, Lord Commander. Do you think I need your flattery? Forgive me. The dragon is dead. Our greatest obstacle is no more. Now, none shall stand Shit. in our way. Proceed with the next phase of the plan. Very good, Lord Commander. Oh, no. Master Quidian. <sighs> There's no need to cry, Martha. This was his fate. It was always going to end this way. <sighs> That's true. If he left the chambers, he would have had no energy to move on. And of course... Uh... Master Gwydion! Children of men, my wish has been fulfilled. Rheimdall is saved. You have my thanks. Though my people did not escape entirely unscathed, they will survive. Such is the nature of man. In time, wounds will heal, wrongs will be forgiven, hope will return. And though my time may be at an end, the realm will not be without its custodian. Gwilym, your time begins. Watch over your new master, faithful guardian. I shall. Oh. Gwydion. Chapter 4 Ill Wins. We're back. How is everyone? The news that the Lord of Dragons drove back the Hologradders has lifted spirits somewhat. And I... I told them that Dominic sacrificed himself in order to summon the Master. I think it's best. He too was used as a tool. Both Castor, Foley, and Dominic were used by their ambitions. And they lost their path because of the crystals and the hologradders. Aye, that's good thinking, Ridian. Stop them asking any awkward questions, eh? That too. It was good thinking indeed, but not mine. The idea was Princess Gloria's. Oh, okay. It's not nice to have to mislead people, but desperate times call for desperate measures. And what of Gwilym and Martha? They went back to the Serpent's Grotto after we buried Gladys. Gwilym needs to go to sleep for a while to absorb the knowledge of his ancestors, apparently. I can't help but feel sorry for poor Martha, out there on her own at such a time. Oh! The Hologradders are on the move! Again? This is sooner than expected. Quickly, mobilize the troops. We must- Wait, wait! They're on the move, but they're not headed this way. Oh no! They're not? No! The soldiers who broke off from the main force headed south. I watched them go. Halcyonia! South? You mean... toward Halcyonia? Oh my god, you're right! They said they'll deal with them later! Oh shit! We need to go back there! The time has come. Rheimdall's dragon has breathed its last. And with its passing dies their ability to resist us any further. Lonsdale, you are to join the division currently advancing toward Halcyonia and assume command. You will have a free hand with regards to strategy and planning. Yes, Lord Commander. Marla, 
What is the situation in Savalon? Our preparations are complete. What little resistance we can expect will be easily crushed. Be it through war or diplomacy, the Council will yield eventually. In that case, I will make haste for Wizward. Ah, the three villains of what happened in the three towns of the three past chapters. Wow. Luckily, thanks to the Forbidden Arts I have now perfected, it will fall in a matter of minutes. <sighs> Very well. You have your orders. Go, all of you. And may the world stand in awe of the might of Holograd. Jeez. It won't be long now, Lord Commander. Soon you'll have everything you've ever wished for. Seriously, Edna, why the hell are you doing this? And what of your wishes, Edna? What is it you seek? Whatever do you mean? <laughs> Never mind. For the moment, I remain in your debt. The Wind Crystal is ours, thanks to you. And as long as you continue to aid me, your motives matter little. But if at any point you cease to be useful, well, I am sure I need not spell it out. Oh my god, you are sinister as fuck. Now, I must see to a few other pressing matters. You know what you have to do. Never you mind my wishes, dearest Adam. They'll be coming true soon enough. The Calamity? <laughs> Seriously? What is her motive? So Holograd are planning to invade Halcyonia. King Vernon is a fine warrior. His swordsmanship is second to none, and he is an accomplished battlefield commander. Even Sir Sloane acknowledged his superior abilities. And yet... Aye. Given what we've seen, you can't help but worry, eh? Still, we can't forget with a crystal hunt to be getting on with. Where did this bird come from? <gasps> oh, looks like there's something tied to its leg. Oh my god, that's Annie Hall's bird! That's Annie Hall's bird! Hello? It's from Annie Hall. She says Prince Pollux needs her help. Oh, yep, they are raiding the past kingdoms. Oh Prince my Pollux. god. Why? What's happened? Holograd has demanded that Savalon become a vassal, vassal state. state. Wow. The Versailles set on Savalon too. Elvis! Elvis, are you there? Oh! Can you hear me? Is that Roddy? What's he after? Surely Wizwald's not in trouble as well. Yeah. Aye, Roddy. I can hear you. What's the matter? Wizwald's under attack by the undead of all things. Oh, wow. What? Aye, and it looks to me like there's someone controlling them. We've managed to hold them off so far, but if this keeps up, we're not going to last long. Whoa! Roddy. What was that? What? No! It can't be! Roddy! Oh my Roddy, talk goodness! To me. What's going on over there? Ah! He's gone! What the heck is happening? Halcyonia, Savalon, and now Wizwald too. This is bad. Really bad. Oh! Oh my god! You may now choose to visit Halcyonia, Savalon, or Wizwald. Each nation is in need of your aid, but please note that you won't be able to leave whichever one you visit until you saved it from its plight. Holy shit! I called it! It's a full-out war going on right now! I- <laughs> I'm hyped! What I could do is go back to Wizwald, Savalon, or Halcyonia, or go to Halcyonia, Savalon, and Wizwald. Just so that way, we've gone through this whole trip already to Ramdell, and now we're gonna repeat it in a full cycle again. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go back to Halcyonia and help them once again with another crisis. And do another full circle. Alright, it has been about three hours. I did my best. Apparently, I was slow at it, but I did manage to master at least half of this. I leveled up until 60 for Elves and Adele, so hopefully it's strong enough for Chapter 4. 
because I really want to finish chapter 4. Here we go. The place oh. is crawling with hologriders. Oh, crap. Aye, but this lot are just grunts. They won't know who we are. We should be able to keep a low profile for now. For now. We need to gain a better understanding of what's happening here. And we need to know if King Vernon's all right. Mm, the innkeeper always seemed to know a lot about what was going on. Maybe we should ask her. Oh, yeah, I remember her. She was the one that gave us the map in the first place. Ah, oh, memories. One moment. Good. You weren't followed. Thanks for checking. Guess we need to be more careful. Oh, there's no need to thank me. Like I told you once upon a time, it's only right to help people. Have you any news of King Vernon? He surrendered so that the city would be spared, and then they took him prisoner. Wise, because if he revolted, he would have suffered a lot of casualties. There's not much we can do besides praying that he's all right. <sighs> do you know where they're keeping him? <clears throat> Don't worry about it. We should probably try asking around some more. Without drawing attention to ourselves, of course. Hmm. Oh. What is this? Horton's diary. Wait a minute! Horton! Oh my god, Horton! If you guys don't remember, Horton was the right hand man of King Vernon, but he died by Adam's hand. So that was his plan all along. Interesting how Horton's diary is in here. Man, even music's not playing. I'll put some music to lighten the mood. Anyone here? Oh no. Looks like someone high up in Holograd's army. You there. You local. Not seen you around here before. Uh, I've been sick. Today's the first day I felt well enough to leave my bed. Is that so? And you are... Lonsdale. Lonsdale. Commander of the Holograd of Forces in this region. Commander? Hey, but who cares about titles when we're in the tavern, eh? We're all equals here. Let me buy you a drink. Uh, sure. Huh. Interesting. Now then, lad. What is it that you do? Okay, this is really calming all of a sudden for an enemy. What is your story, Lonsdale? I'm... a sailor. Oh, man of the sea, eh? Must have seen a bit of the world then. I did some traveling myself when I was your age. Me and a pal went on a bit of a journey of self-discovery. Though, it has to be said, one of the main discoveries I made was that I wasn't half as tough as I thought. To be honest, I was lucky to make it home in one piece. So, how come you wound up in the army in Holograd? Oh, in a word, son. Duty. The King of Holograd at that time was very good to me. I thought it were only right that I paid him back somehow. Bit pompous, I know, but there you have it. Any road up. Turns out I'm not a bad soldier. Don't think I could live any other way now. Yeah, not gonna lie, if you're just doing your duty, you're not a bad soldier, you're a loyal soldier. And the Emperor at the time, then you're not completely loyal to Adam at all then, are you? Wow. <laughs> a word to the wise though. Even to a simple soldier like me, you're not doing the best job of keeping a low profile. Oh. Try not to cause any trouble while you're in town, all right? I'd hate to have to kill you for no good reason. Oh, he knew. But he's not gonna do anything like that? Wow. Oh, and one more thing. Don't bother trying to pass yourself off as a local again, lad. It didn't work on me. It won't work on anyone else. I, I uh... Uh... <laughs> yeah, be seeing you. Wow. Lonsdale, huh? He's an interesting one. Very intriguing. So he's a very, very, very loyal soldier. And he knows what he's doing. Interesting. 
he even spotted Seth out of all the locals. Which should be obvious because Seth, Gloria, and Elvis and Adele caused such a struggle for the crystals and a thorn to Holograd, so. Well, what did we all find out? I spoke to a maid who used to work at the castle. She says she saw King Vernon being taken to the dungeons. Uh, that's no good. I came up empty, I'm afraid. What about you, Adele? Any luck? I found out who's in charge of the Hologradders. His name's Lonsdale. This Lord Commander of theirs, Adam, must trust the guy quite a bit to put him in charge of an entire region. Yes, yes, he did. He did say that himself. Whoa. So it really was him. Know something about this bloke, do you? Yeah, I... I met him. He came into the tavern while I was there. Wait, you didn't speak to him, did you? Did he suspect anything? Yes, yes he did. Well, he didn't say it in so many words, but... I think I blew our cover. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sounds like we better break old Vernon out of Chokey and hightail it for the hills, eh? He knows that we're here. But he doesn't want to cause a ruckus. <sighs> well, has the date of my execution been set? Still so eager to die, Your Majesty. If it would help my people one iota, I would gladly kneel before the Axemen here and now. Oh, crikey. <laughs> Look, before you go drawing a dotted line round your neck, I have a proposition for you. Now that Halcyone is part of the Empire, I mean to suggest that the Lord Commander makes you its governor. What? You know more about this place than anyone and you certainly inspire loyalty in your subjects. You'd be far more used to them in charge than you would be dead, wouldn't you say? Lonsdale, you... General Lonsdale. What is it? I have orders for you from the Lord Commander, sir. Oh, no. Oh, dummy's eyes. He's insisting that the execution go ahead. Oh, jeez. I thought he put me in charge. This should be my decision. What the hell? I won't do it. What? But it is a direct order from the Lord Commander, sir. You may leave. What? He's not listening. This is her doing. I know it. She's the one who put this daft idea into his head. Well, I won't stand for it. Oh. Oh no, don't tell me that these three are being used. Oh my god, it's the same as Gladys. They're being used by Adam, and Adam is being used by Edna. Do your duty, Lonsdale. Obey your orders. I have done. I took the kingdom, didn't I? But victory is not just about winning the war. It's about what comes after. Oh my god, he... Wow. And if what comes after is further bloodshed in response to your insubordination, if more of my people have to die, what then? As I told you before, I have no regrets. I will gladly give my life to keep my subjects safe. God. This is terrible. They've announced that the king is to be executed. What? We must hurry. You're going to help him? Then you have to let us lend a hand. No. We will be fighting trained men. I cannot let you risk your lives. We don't have to. All we need to do is create a distraction so you lot can sneak into the castle. A street brawl should bring the guards running. Hmm. And what about the soldiers guarding the castle entrance? I have an idea. Huh? Remember when Sir Sloan used that stone to help us rescue Gloria? <gasps> the one that blinded everybody? How about... We get ourselves another one. Oh, that's clever! Bringing back what happened in ch the prologue and back into the future. Oh, wow. Hey, that could work. Damn, that's yes. a really good idea. You taught me how they're made. It shouldn't be too complicated. Okay, then. Tell us what we need, Gloria, and we'll go out and get it. Getting hold of a glint stone. Gather materials for the glint stone. All right. By the light of the sun. <laughs> oh, memories. Hey, Gloria, I was wondering. You know the word Sir Sloan used when he threw that glintstone by the light of the sun? 
Do they mean something special? Oh, not really. It's just what children and how Sionia say when they use them. When one says it, they all throw their stones down at the same time, and if they time it just right, they can give all the grown-ups a fright. Oh, the once their stone used was adapted to glow especially brightly. Ah, interesting. The ones that children use aren't anywhere near as bright. They're just livening up festivals and the like. Oh, they're basically like firecrackers. Like, uh, pop rocks. <laughs> Sir Sloan taught me a trick of how to make them glow more brightly too. We also agreed that we would use the same word as the children of Halcyonia to signal when to cover our eyes. Nice. Hey, did you ever get pranked by those kids yourself, Gloria? <coughs> no comment. <laughs> no comment is a comment, Gloria. You should be smarter than this. Man, I really do love Lonsdale already. From Just from that tavern. He's, he's blaming not the commander, not Adam, but blaming it on Edna. Edna is the one that's pulling the strings. Okay, glintstone materials obtained, nice. Much, much, much later. Thank you, I'll get the glintstone made right away. Report back. Completed, okay. Did you manage to work out how to make those special stones of yours? Yep, how are things over here? All good, thank you. I found a couple of big fellas who've agreed to start a scrap as soon as I say the word. <laughs> thank you so much. It won't be happening for a little while yet, though. Why don't you rest up in the meantime? After all, you'll be needing all your energy if you're gonna rescue the king. I guess we will, huh? Warning, you won't be able to save your game for a while. <laughs> oh my god! No way! No way! Then I need to save first. Uh, at the very least, you gave me a warning. This should be getting started right about. Mike! Someone's having a fight! Oh, here and we go. They're off. The soldiers are on the move. Now's our chance. <laughs> Stop right there! Oh, here we go. Ready, everyone? Yep. By the light, By of, the the sun. light of the sun. Here we go. Ah, what's happening? This way. Oh, point of chat. The old war horse. Oh, is that? So, what was this Lonsdale fellow like? I didn't speak to him for long, but it was pretty clear he's not somebody you would want to mess with. He saw that I wasn't a local right away. But even so, he didn't come after me there and then. He just told me he hate to have to kill me for no good reason, and left it there. And this is the same bloke who's fixing to execute King Vernon for no good reason at all? Yeah, about that. I don't think it was him that ordered the execution. You think it was Adam's doing? Aye, makes sense. Lonsdale can't exactly say no to that boss man, eh? Adam is no Lonsdale original commanding officer. Yes, I knew it! I knew it! Adam is not Lonsdale's original commanding officer. He served his father before him. He was loyal to Adam's father. And before that, he was a mercenary. He must have had made quite the impression to be welcomed into an imperial fold. Sounds like a gnarly old warhorse. Yeah, he won't be easy to get the better of. Alright, well let's keep our wits about it then, eh? Your Majesty! Princess Gloria, what in the world are you doing here? We don't have much time. Please, step aside. Oh no. Oh. Oh, what's gonna happen? Oh yeah! The one that Truff told- told- <laughs> Oh no. Now, as to your question, we are here to see you safely out of captivity. I am grateful, but I cannot leave. Your Majesty! Why? To make a stand against the Hologradders would mean war. My subjects would surely suffer greatly. <sighs> Lonsdale is sympathetic to my position. So long as I continue to do as he wishes, the people of Halcyonia will be safe. General Lonsdale may be a reasonable man, but what of his superiors? Exactly. Holograd's plans to expand its empire do not end with Halcyonia. What if the people of your kingdom were forced to fight in another invasion on behalf of their imperial masters? Adding this more strength That's to the strength. That's as likely an outcome as any, isn't it? 
your highness. Your people need you to remain alive. The people of the world need you to remain alive. Perhaps you are right. Perhaps it is not time to surrender my life just yet. It is not. Here we go. I am sure of it. Very well. Then I am in your hands, Princess Gloria. Oh, no. Here we go. Let's see how you like this. Got a little something for you. See how you like this. Finish him off. Sorry. Did you see that? Take it personally. I'm amazing. Prepare for impact. Try this for some. See how you like this. This for some. Nice. Really good. Hardly worth the bother. Really good. Really good. Prepare for impact. This for some. See how you like this. Prepare for impact. Nice, nice, nice. Yes, yep, there we go. Oh, oh yeah, Lonsdale. Didn't I tell you not to cause any trouble? Lonsdale, I'm a reasonable man, but do you really expect me to let you get away with this? The only way King Vernon is leaving this castle is over my dead body. We don't have to do this. Why Lonsdale. swear allegiance to a man like Adam, General Lonsdale? I didn't. I swore allegiance to the man who came before him. Exactly. Why the hell do you have to follow him? Adam? His father made me promise to look after the boy. And that's what I've done. Oh. And how does executing King Vernon square with that promise, exactly? Surely the best way to look after the Lord Commander's interests would be to warn him of the dangers of angering every other ruler in the world. Count yourself among that number, do you? Last I heard, you didn't have a country left to rule over. Oh, that's cold. If you want me to believe you're still worth listening to, you'll need to prove it. Come on, let's see what you're made of. Let's go, Lonsdale. Old war horse. This will not take long. I'm oh. you. you better be good. New music. Love it. Time to play my trump cards. Yeah, yeah, he has a bit of uh, Adam's theme. I love it. Yeah! Guess it's my turn. Don't know what class he is, but he has 88,000 health. Which isn't much, technically. Ha, let's got a little something for you. Up, huh? Okay, he has counter physical. Default. Want to see what I can really do? What do you do? Physical barrier. Let's cross cut. This out. Prepare to meet your maker. Okay. I shall take care of this. Blades of wind, strike down my foes. Ah. Nice, good damage. May the crystals guide us. Ha! Let's go! Try this for some! I've got a little something for, for impact! <laughs> I doubt you'd be getting the better of me if that's all you got to offer. And if you can't beat me, you've not a hope in hell of beating the Lord Commander. Okay, this is really upsetting because I can almost beat you right now. In fact, I doubt if you'd even lay a glove on him. It's probably better all round if I just kill you now. Come on, last chance to show me what you're made of. Leave it to me. Disaster. Mill storm of magic conceal you. Primordial forces conceal you. Mill storm of magic conceal you. Mill storm of magic conceal you. Conceal you. Nice. Come on, Lonsdale. Not bad. I might have underestimated you, but it's still not enough. You want to save King Vernon, don't you? And stop the Lord Commander? Then show me you have what it takes. Come on! Give me everything you got! I am giving you everything I got. I'm just, you know, very <sighs> disappointed that <laughs> it's not hard. <laughs> Pure. 
There you go. Wall. Holy light. Crawl, crawl. Oh, Wait, dang! Let me help you. Thanks. Does that feel better? Phew. Time to play my trump cards. Gale Force flurry. All eyes on me. All eyes Freezing on me. Blade coming your way. Go. Everything. Oh, that's not. See, uh. I've got my uses. That's not <laughs> good. Good old team. Oh, okay. At the very least, I got that special all-out assault. Adele. Let's do it! Full steam ahead! One, two, hopefully. Well done. Woo! You beat me fair and square. Amazing work, Adele. Ooh. That was a heck of a fight. Man, that was really sad. I'm sorry, Lonsdale. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I totally forgot. What class is this? Bastion? Bastions are unsaleable human fortresses whose shields can stop even the most brutal blows stone dead. What? Abilities. Bulwark. Perform a quick physical attack on a target and increase the user's physical defense by 15% for 3 turns. Stats cannot be increased beyond 200% of their base value. Phalanx. Perform a quick physical attack on a target and increases the user's magical defense by 15%. For three turns, stats cannot be increased beyond 200% of their base value. Oh, okay, so Bastion really is a human fortress, but it also acts as a quick attacker. That's interesting. So this is really this is this is offensive defense. I like it. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, that's how he looks I like. for proof. Wow. And I got it. I might not have been able to stand up to Adam, but maybe you can. Wait, you didn't let us win, did you? Uh, not likely. I'd just as happily have clobbered you and put King Vern into the sword. If I've proved anything, it's that I've not got it in me to go against orders, even when I know I should. Hmm, Lonsdale. Hey, don't be so... The Lord Commander's powerful, but you beat me. Maybe you can beat him too. Oh, Lonsdale. <sighs> Lie still, General Lonsdale. Your wounds are deep. This little lot. <laughs> this is nothing. Oh, I don't want him Listen, to die. There's something I need to say. Please. I mean. To order my men to stand down, oh. but on one condition. That those who wish to leave be guaranteed safe passage home to Holograd. You have my word. I will issue orders accordingly. Hmm. I must thank you once again for coming to my aid, Princess Gloria. In return, I will of course do anything that is within my power to assist you in your efforts to recover the Wind Crystal. Thank you, Your Majesty. Your help is deeply appreciated, as always. Might I ask what you intend to do next? Halcyonia may be safe for now, but other kingdoms remain in danger. Yep, Savalon and Wizwald. And while we cannot know for certain until we've investigated further, my suspicion is that this is all Holograd's doing. Are you kidding me? It was pretty obvious in the get-go. I mean to go to those kingdoms' aid, just as we came to yours. I see. Then I shall command my generals to make our forces ready to march at a moment's notice, should you have need of our aid. I fear there may be little else I can do to help you in the meantime. It's fine. That will be more than enough, Your Majesty. Your subjects must be your first priority. You are too kind, as ever. If you decide to march on Holograd itself, please, do not do so without visiting us first. Thank you, King Vernon. 